For years, I've been saying that the disconnect between the company business plan and the company marketing plan is a big cause of growth failure. Now, my guest agrees, but has done something about it. Welcome to this BVTV trilogy, coming to you from the UK studios of BizVision. I'm your host, Malcolm Gallagher. It may seem sensible to anyone that the business and the marketing strategy should work in harmony. But all too often, finance and marketing don't want to dance with each other. I reckon the visionary expertise of my guest can overcome this. He's the author of this book, Brand Vision, The Clear Sight of Sight Lining, Business Strategy and Marketing Tactics. Now, welcome, James Averhart. Hello, James. Hello, Malcolm. Uh, thanks. Thank you for inviting me. I'm uh, happy to be here. Yeah, so I'm delighted you're here because we 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 both got a marketing pedigree. Um, but you yours bigger than better than mine, of course. But um, I, marketing has changed so much, and I'm so excited to be talking to you because everything in your book, though, is of the moment. Your book has got so many excellent strategies and tactics uh, to discover. But in episode one, let's address the fundamental problem of this disconnect between business strategy and marketing strategy. So. How prevalent is it? Why is there no alignment? And where does the solution lie? Well, unfortunately, it's a lot more prevalent than, than even I, I want to feel comfortable with. I mean, it's amazing to me. Um, I, I'd say I used to say that I could count on one hand the number of times that somebody said to me, um, oh, here's our business strategy and here's how that fits with this product or whatever that we're trying to do. Probably over several decades, I've heard that three or four times, um, you know, or at least let's yeah. put it this way. I haven't had to take off my uh, shoes, uh, my <laughs> shoes and socks in order to count the number of times it's happened. I even had one situation, I use this as a great example, where uh, I was working at an agency, we were working with a client, and they said, um, you know, we were working with them, assisting them, helping them to justify some of the programs that they're thinking about. They had done the whole plan and everything like that. And then they came back to us and said, um, uh, management said, this is great, but um, how do these match up to our business objectives? And the problem mm -hmm. was, number one, we didn't know they had any business objectives. <laughs> and number two, we didn't know what they were. And number three, actually, then when we heard what they were, we didn't know exactly what they meant either. So mm -hmm. uh, that, and unfortunately, that's more the rule than the exception. And it shouldn't yeah. be, but it's just the way it is. Now, the, your second part of your question, which is, why is that the case? Well, I mean, I'll give, I'll give people the benefit of the doubt that a lot of it's workload, you know, that they're busy, that they're just swamped, they're running around to trade shows, they're, they're coordinating with sales, they're trying to do, you know, they're running up and going to meetings mm -hmm. and doing all these things. And, you know, they're, and they're trying to do more with less. That's, that's the, the, the way of the world these days. So that's one thing. The second thing is strategists often don't help. Strategists mm -hmm. often, um, you know, there's all too many times when strategies look more like a three volume tome and where, you know, what we need is something that everybody can understand from the, from the desk clerk to the receptionist to the guy under loading dock, to the design, you know, product designers. Everybody mm. needs to be able to understand and make it simple. So we need to be thinking of like bumper stickers, not um, Game of Thrones, you know, and, and unfortunately that's what we're getting. So that's part of, that's the third thing. And the third thing, and, and one of the things that I consider the most noxious uh, of all the problems that we have is that, um, that people think marketing should get a pass, a free pass, you know, a, a get out of jail free card, like, um, you know, and that because we do things that are so fun and they're so trendy and so cool, you don't have to follow the rules and you don't have to follow the business 
strategy and everything like that. And I'd use this uh, another example that happened one time I was working at an agency and this project came down and it was a new product for a major corporation. And they said, and I said, so what's this product do? And they said, you don't have to worry about it. You just have to write the headline. (laughs) (laughs) I I said, how's that supposed to work? And they said, you're just, you're getting caught up in the details. You know, Mm -hmm. we'll handle that in the copy. You just need, just need a headline. Just need something cool for the headline. And the worst thing was I went to the, uh, the account manager then and said, well, okay. So that's what the creative director told me. I don't have to worry about this. What are the, you know, how does this work? What is the product? And right. she said to me, um, you know, she did the kind of thing that you hear Americans doing when they're in a foreign country, speak louder and slower. So yeah, she well. said, you don't need to know that. You just need to write the head <laughs> And that was what I got. And um, so unfortunately, that's that's kind of the, the rule rather than exception. So yeah. the solution- but isn't isn't this a lot to do, though, with with the top leadership? You know, I mean, uh, leaders have either come through, should we say, uh, the finance side or and the companies are someone comes with the marketing side and they say, well, that's my domain. And they've yeah. never taken enough time to understand the other side. So therefore, they can't do the, the convergence leadership. Yeah. And, and once again, you know, uh, people are so focused on short term and uh, they're not thinking in terms of long term. Brand, brand building takes a long time. Strategy yeah. takes a long time. And unfortunately, too, uh, too many corporations today are so f- fixated on the the next quarter's earnings and everything like that, that they just can't, you know, they can't wrap their minds around that. Uh, So Mm -hmm. I I think that's, I think that that is part of the problem. And yeah, and the silos, I mean, we'll talk about that more later, but yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, And then the one thing I wanted to say, the last part of your question was the solution, obviously is, I tried to develop a solution with brand vision, I'd say I see three steps there. Um, The first one is to elevate the business strategy to keep it, um, you know, to keep it front and center. And and I've I've made it uh, a major part of um, what is what I've done for the uh, creative work plan. The second is to build in connectivity throughout the entire program. And the last is to stop focusing on tactics and to focus on strategies and think campaigns. Thanks, James. Now, let's give viewers and listeners details of your URL, which obviously viewers you can see on the screen behind me. But for listeners, let me spell it out for you. It's all the W's, all the W's dot brandvisionbook.com, brandvisionbook.com. James' book, this one is called Brand Vision, The Clear Line of Sight Aligning Business Strategy and Marketing Tactics. And it's published by Business Expert Press. There's lots of things I like in this, particularly like in this book. And I like the simplicity of his way of, of presenting things using the pyramid concept. You work that one out when you get the book. Now, episode two, I want to explore further with James the alignment of business and marketing strategy in practical terms, especially in articulating the business strategy in this new world of social media. So can we go there, James? Oh, sure. I'd love to talk about that. You know, we hear so often that uh, social media changes everything. And my response is not so fast. 